Hi guys, it's Alex here and I'm recording this short tutorial to show you how it is easy to win with our new incredible tool called the Totals Predictor. This tool is extremely powerful in predicting game totals such as over and under. This idea was developed by our great expert Jonathan Mark. You can read more about his idea on our Z Code members forum. It might look a bit complicated at first, but it's really easy to use and it works very accurately. Our totals predictor builds two lines. The first one is a blue line, which is the over and under line. We assign a plus one value, which you see here, 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 and here, for every over five and a half and we assign under here, 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 and here for every game total under five and a half. So our number here is five and a half. As you can see, all these games ended under five and a half and all these games on top ended over five and a half. If you're totally new to betting, here is a simple example for you to understand game totals. For example, Boston is playing against the New Jersey Devils and the score is 4 to 3. Now we need to add up both the team scores so that's 4 plus 3 which equals 7 which means that was over 5.5 goals. So if you place a bet for over 5.5 then you would have won. Another example is the Ducks against Wild. The score was 3 to 2. 3 plus 2 equals 5, which means this game was under 5.5. So if you played under 5.5, you would have won. Another example is a push. Now what is a push? For example, you're playing a game under 5 exactly, without a half. Now you have kings against ducks and the game ended 3 to 2. When you add the scores, it comes up to 5, which means you got exactly the same number as you played. So in this case, your bet is returned since you didn't really win or lose. That's called a push. Here are two important rules for you to remember when using the totals predictor. We always play over 5, never play over 5.5. And, and for unders, we always play under 5.5, we never lay under 5. If you play over 5.5, you'll get a lot of losses instead of pushes. When the game ends 3-2, it's the most frequent score. And if you play under 5 instead of wins for under 5.5, you'll be getting a lot of pushes. So if you bet like this and like this, you'll only get losses and pushes. And if you play like this and like this, you mostly get pushes and wins. So it's much better to play it like this. I suggest you remember these simple rules. Now let's check St. Louis Blues against the San Jose Sharks. Blues is a defensive team, so it's no wonder that most of the games went under 5.5. There is no clear trend, but it's constant and stable for an under 5.5 signal for the Blues. Now we can see that the Sharks offense has gone down in the most recent games with under 5.5, and we see a strong trend going down. So the best bet for this game overall is supposed to be under 5.5. Now if we check the Z code members area, we can see that the Z code system agrees with us. It gives us under 5, 58% with 3 stars, an average signal. So this game is predicted to go under 5.5. And, and here is the result of the game with Blues, 3, and Sharks, 1. So the prediction was correct. However, not every game is so easy to predict and sometimes we have no bet. So let's check this one out. For example, this is a game with the Pittsburgh Penguins against the Colorado Avalanche. So here we can see pretty much an average trend or signal for over for the Penguins. Now let's scroll down. And here on the opposite we see an average signal for under for Colorado. So combining these conflicting signals, it's quite clear that it's a no bet. Better safe than sorry. And if we check the Z code members area, we have zero green stars, which means this game has no value in totals and we are supposed to skip it. 
Now let's check the Boston Bruins against Toronto Maple Leafs. Here is a chart for the Boston Bruins. As you can see, Boston doesn't have a clear signal here. So there is no signal. And here for Toronto, we have a very strong uptrend which means we have a strong signal for over from Toronto. So we expect this game to go over 5. And the result was Bruins 5 and Maple Leafs 4. So this was clearly an over and we won it. And here are some important tips about winning with the totals predictor. Use progressions like 1x, 3x, 5x because the odds on over 5 or under 5.5 are usually around 1.6 to 1.7 which is too low to be profitable on flat betting. The chance to lose over 4 totals in a row is very low. Ignore all games with an unclear signal. It's better to pass it over than to lose. Check the starting goalies. Remember teams tend to score lesser on the road even if they score a lot at home. And the most important one, compare your predictions with the Z-Code experts and read what they say about the game in the VIP section to make sure that you don't go against the experts' opinions. We wish you good luck and I hope you succeed with our great Z-Code tools.